In this video, we will show the Fitel 3mm splice-on connector kit using the Fitel S177 core alignment fusion splicer. The connector kit consists of a boot, the stop ring, two crimp sleeves, a spring, a pre-polished factory ferrule, a plastic protection sleeve, an outer housing, and an inner housing, and dust cap. To begin the process, slide the 3 mm cordage into the connector part still in the package as shown. Now remove the parts from the plastic tray and slide these connector pieces down out of the way and prepare the cordage for the stripping process. Using the 3 hole stripper, strip away a section of the 3 mm cordage. Then manage the Kevlar strands together and cut back just a little to be used later in the process. Now take the connector assembly tool, which will be used to put a slit in the cordage, providing cordage material that will be used in the final crimping process. Now place the cordage in the 3 mm slot pulling towards the fiber end to create the required slot in the 3 mm cordage. At this point, move 50% of the remaining Kevlar to one side of the cordage and 50% to the other, as you see here. Now return back to the packaged parts and remove the protection sleeve. Insert it over the 900 micron jacketing down into the base of a 3 mm cordage slit. Now with the protective splice sleeve in place, load the cordage in the cordage holder. Now close the cordage holder and prepare for final stripping. Take the three hole stripper and first strip the 900 micron coating, then the 250 micron coating, exposing the bare fiber. Once the bare fiber is exposed, clean the fiber to remove all of the residue left by the 250 micron jacket. Using a moistened alcohol wipe, Wipe the fiber in an outward direction away from the holder and when all of the residue is removed, the fiber will produce a squeaking sound. Next, load the holder into the Fitel S325 One Action Cleaver. Closing the upper lid on the cleaver, then pushing the button, will create a precision cleave that will make the fiber ready for splicing. Now remove the holder from the cleaver and place it into one side of the S177 splicing chamber. Once in place, return to the package parts. At this point, remove the factory polished furl with the transportation holder in place and load them into the furl holder. Place the ferrule holder on the other side of the S177 splicing bridge. We're now ready to begin the process of splicing the ferrule to the 3 mm fiber. Close the lid on the S177 and push the green start button to begin the automated process. First you will see the fibers move together in initial alignment and then you will see a discharge that's actually the cleaning art, finally preparing the fibers for the fusion splice. This is followed by the primary discharge which actually completes the fusion splice. At the conclusion of the splice, the S177 will provide the loss of the splice. In this case, it's 0 0.01 dB. Now open the top cover of the S177 Fitel splicer and remove the fiber and the ferrule from the holders. Slide the protection sleeve from inside the cordage up and over the middle of the fusion splice. Now 
Now place in the heating oven to heat shrink the protective sleeve over the fusion splice. Now press the yellow button that will begin the heating process to permanently protect the fusion splice. At the conclusion of this process, the S177 will give positive indication that the process is now complete. Then open the heating oven, remove the splice components, then remove the inner housing from the plastic tray. Next slide the parts on the 3 mm cordage into position as shown. These were the parts that were installed in the first step of the process. Now remove the transportation holder from the factory polished ferrule. And then install the inner housing over the ferrule. Once the inner housing is in place, use the connector assembly tool to firmly lock the inner housing in place. You'll hear a distinctive click. Now slide up the first crimp ring into position as shown. This ring will secure the Kevlar fiber to the stop ring, which is an important step in providing the required strain relief required by a GR326. Now with the crimp tool, crimp this ring using the .190 round die to complete the first crimp. Now remove the 3 mm cordage from the stop ring. Next slide the final crimp ring into position which will secure the 3 mm cordage. This will add additional strength to the strain relief. Now using the .178's hex die on the crimp tool Complete the last crimp, which crimps the 3 mm cordage to the main body. Now slide the boot, which is the last remaining piece on the 3 mm cordage, into position as shown. And then finally in the last step, place the outer housing over the inner housing and when doing so, you will hear a distinct click. The finished Blyson connector is now complete and ready for use. So you can see how easy it is to use these Vitel 3mm Splice-On connectors, providing the ultimate in repair or expansion. In the demonstration you just saw, the following Vitel components were used to complete this process. The S177 handheld core alignment fusion splicer, the Phytel 325 single action cleaver, the connector assembly tool, the 3 mm splice on connector kit, the cordage and ferrule holders, the three hole stripping tool, and finally the crimp tool.